Uh, my name is Andrea Colorotola O'Neill. I am Director of Marketing for Casa Larga Vineyards in Fairport, New York. Uh, I am also uh, one of the founding members of the family. Uh, my mom and dad started the winery back in 1974, produced our first wines in 1978, uh, and I am the youngest of the three children that are still involved with the winery. Well, we started making ice wine back in the um, early to late 90s. I want to say 95, 96 is the first time we tried it. The first time we tried it, it actually didn't work. It never froze. Um, so the second year would have been 1997 is when we actually really produced the first vintage. Um, and the reason we started producing ice wine was out of a need, out of a consumer's request. They would come into the wine shop um, and they were always saying, do you have dessert wines? And we didn't have any dessert wine at the time. Um, I had started hearing about ice wine in the region and we had actually contacted another winery and we were prepared to buy some you know, ice wine and bring it in and then we decided, you know, let's just try this on our own. Um, and we found, you know, that we did very well when we first made the first, when it, when it finally froze the first time we made the ice wine. It was just a beautiful dessert wine and we were very excited about it. This year is a really exciting year for us. So this year, all the foods that are being offered um, will be infused with ice wine. So we have some really neat um, combinations. We have pulled pork sliders where the sauce has been like an ap apricot glaze that has ice wine in it. Uh, we have cupcakes that the frosting is made with ice wine. Um, the most exciting one are the s'mores. Uh, they are hand crafting and hand cutting uh, marshmallows and fusing them with ice wine. And those will be built on a graham cracker cross with dark chocolate. And then while you're here waiting, they're actually gonna um, toast or actually to torch the marshmallow in the room. So you can imagine the smells that are gonna be happening in the room. Um, there's also a salad with an ice wine vinaigrette and a soup that's also gonna have ice wine made into the, blended into it. Every year we make a few different ice wines. Uh, right now for Castle Larga at our ice wine festival, we do our classic Vidal, which is our standby. It's, we've been producing it for a while, for decades now, and it's always done really, really well for us. Um, it's won in a really impressive way, array of awards. Uh, it's been awarded best dessert wine in the world and best wine in New York State. And uh, every year, I, you know, it performs really, really well. Currently, we are considered the most awarded ice wine in the United States. So we have over 100, I want to say about 175 medals collectively between the three ice wines. Uh, most, mostly of those awards have been uh, highly decorated on the Vidal ice wine. It is labor intensive, but it's fun. Once, once the weather allows, we get out there and it's often in the middle of the night because that's when it gets the coldest. And it's fun. It's, it's kind of, I mean, it's hard work, but it, it, it's like a team building activity in a way. It builds a lot of camaraderie and we, we enjoy it. And that's, that's why we do it. We get out there and do it because we love it and because it makes a really great like, world-class wine that a lot of regions can't make. 